and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by the last man standing with loserpool.com. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simeon, and on today's video, we'll be discussing the future of Arsenal skipper Laurent Koscielny. Now, it's being reported that Lauren Koscielny is considering leaving Arsenal this summer after the club have reportedly stalled on offering him a new deal. Now, Lauren Koscielny has been a loyal servant to this football club, signed back in July 2010 from Lorient uh, for a fee worth £11.25 million. And I think it's safe to say that we've got our money's worth over the years. I think that Lauren Koscielny has been one of Arsenal's best central defenders over the last 10 years or so. But what I will say is he still, at times, a lot of the time, hasn't been up to standard. And I think that that's more of a reflection of the players around him and the fact that we've really lacked in defensive talent as opposed uh, to him being so good. And and this might be a controversial opinion. There'll be those of you out there who don't agree with me. But for me, Lauren Koscielny has made a hell of a lot of mistakes at Arsenal. And when you look over the last 10 years at Arsenal's demise, um, you know, and you look at how bad we've been defensively, Lauren Koscielny has pretty much been an ever-present. I think the best he's ever looked in an Arsenal shirt was alongside Per Mertesacker for a, a short period of time. But unfortunately, you know, that partnership just wasn't ever going to last. Per Mertesacker had his reasons, etc. And, and Lauren Koscielny has struggled at times with fitness. Now, in the Europa League semi-final last season, Koscielny suffered an Achilles injury. And I must admit, I thought that was the end of his Arsenal career at that point. I never thought he'd come back the way he has. And he does deserve immense credit for showing the determination. And despite the heartbreak of uh, France going on and winning the World Cup without him, and he spoke about that, didn't he? He spoke about how tough he found that. He's come back and he's come back probably as good as I've seen him in the last few years. He was a little bit rusty the first uh, couple of games, but you know, due to various reasons, he was rushed back, you have to say. But since then, he's, he's nailed down a position in the centre of our defence, probably been our most important centre-half and, and had some really, really impressive games. I think when Arsene Wenger left, we all knew that we were going to endure a period of change. And we're always talking about how Arsenal need to move forward and the new regime, etc., etc., and how we need to build uh, kind of from scratch. And, and, you know, taking all the good things that Arsene Wenger did and the, the status and the stature of the club now, you know, that's already there. But what we need to do now is move things forward and change our approach. After all, that is why we changed manager. Well, Having said all of that and having discussed all that, that just makes me feel that it is time now with players like Lauren Koscielny to move on, to start looking towards the future and to start planning for the next five, six, seven seasons. And for me, Lauren Koscielny doesn't feature in those long-term plans. So I think it's wise not to offer him a new deal. I really do. I think that that's the way to go. And I think for far too long, we've allowed sentiment to get in the way of our progression. Arsene Wenger had invested so much in certain players time-wise that he felt he had to stick with them. And I don't think that, you know, Unai Emery's in that position where he has to. Yes, koscielny has been a great servant. Will I be sad to see him go? Yeah, I probably will. But for the good of this football club and if for, in order for us to move forward, we need to start making these changes. We need to be a bit more ruthless. And I think it's right that, that Arsenal look to replace him. I think that he's shown over the last couple of seasons that fitness is an issue for him. And he won't be able to play a couple of games a week. And it, we need an ever-present centre-back. We need our senior and, and best centre-back to be an ever-present in this side. Like Van Dijk is for Liverpool. Like Laporte has been or company has been for City this season. That's really, really important. And I think that's something that Arsenal have lacked. And so for me, moving Lauren Koscielny on is probably the right thing to do. And I hope he goes back to Lorient or wherever it is that he wants to be and... and plays out the rest of his days in a more relaxed manner and gets the send-off that he deserves. Um, loyal player, good player in his day. For me, though, the future for Arsenal um, means that we need to look elsewhere. And, and that's just my take on it. But I'd like to hear what you guys think, of course. Let me know in the comments below. I think also as well, unlike Arsene Wenger, who probably slightly overstayed his welcome, it would be nice to see Lauren Koscielny bow out having lifted a Europa League trophy as the Arsenal captain. Uh, of course, we've got a very difficult game ahead of us and it's not a foregone conclusion that we're going to win it. 
But that would be the perfect send-off, wouldn't it? To lift Arsenal's first European trophy in a, approximately 25 years and then to bow out, that would be some send-off. If Laurent was to, of course, feature in the Europa League final, that would be his 405th game for the club. Now, the 33-year-old uh, can look back and say that he's had a solid Arsenal career, no doubt about that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it for a notification each and every time we upload. Lots of uh, Europa League final preview content coming your way in the next few days. And then, of course, we'll be reflecting on the final the following day where we'll be joined by former gunner uh, and Arsenal legend Nigel Winterburn. So you won't want to miss that one. So like I said, hit subscribe, hit that little bell icon too and you won't miss a trick here at the Chronicles of Aguna. We'll be back very soon. Until then, enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend.